If you're ready to harness the power of your communications data, blast off with Nihilus today. Blag, uh, I have a cup of coffee here too, yet an astronaut didn't put the coffee in my cup. I'm a little jealous <laughs> of the narrator in our little video. Yeah, we need to ask next time for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can get a live astronaut to come in and kick off our, uh, our live streams. How, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. You? Yeah, doing good. And I'm excited because um, we're going to be talking about uh, so kind of some of the getting back to basics with one of the, some of the cool stuff that you can do with Nihilus. And as a start, you know, sending emails is such a big part of what we do and what we enable developers to do. So I think it's been a little bit since we've done a stream on how to send an email. So you want to tell us a little bit about like what you have in mind to walk through today? Uh, yeah, sure. So first, what we're going to do is just send a simple email. Uh, using just a terminal. And then we're going to see how can we read our mailbox using Python. So pretty easy, pretty straightforward using the Python Nylas SDK. Awesome. So just to set the scenario then, what we're going to show is just an example script as kind of like a contrived example of some of the core basics of what you can do with Nylas. So that's you've got a script written in Python. It's using our Python SDK. You go in, run the script, and it sends an email from your email address to a recipient uh, using our APIs. Yes, exactly. Cool. Well, why don't we jump in? Sure. Let me just second, just so I can share it <laughs> on the social media. And I'm going to share my screen in a second. OK, I'm almost done. And perfect. Let me share my screen now. OK. So what I'm going to do is just run the script. Python 3, no send. So when I hit enter or return, the email is going to be sent and it's going to return the message that we put with love from Nylas. And this email was sent using this ID, which is pretty much the job ID. So we can see if it was sent successfully or not. Cool. So, so in the background there, obviously, we're going to dive into the details here in a second. But yeah, you've got a script. It sends an email. So uh, and then this is the stuff that, that you get back. Uh, that ID in particular for folks here are going to go on and do even more cool stuff with Nihilus. Uh, we might even show you one thing you can do with that ID in a second. But mm -hmm. it's a unique identifier. If you've done anything in development land before, IDs are important. So once the email has been successfully sent, we give you that. That way, that you, if you need to reference that email to do anything else, like say, you know, go read it for some reason, um, then, then you have a way to do that. Yes. And just let me show you so you see that actually I received the email. So we slow from Nihilus. And as you can see, it was sent from myself to myself, <laughs> which means that it was actually sent from my connected account. And it was not sent from like uh, some sort of Nyla server, but it was my connected account, which is actually sending the email. So it's going through Gmail to actually send the email. Awesome. So why don't we take a peek under the hood and, and see how you're making all this magic happen? Sure. So here, what we're going to do first is we're going to load our environment, so our M, M file. We're going to load, of course, uh, the Nylas SDK for Python. We're going to connect to the SDK using our client ID, client secret, and access token that we can get for our Nylas dashboard. And we're simply creating a draft, specifying the subject, which is going to be Whistler from Nylas. The body is going to be well, 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 which you actually create. <laughs> Um, and here on the two, it's going to be the important part. So here on name, it's going to be the recipient name that we can change with the name of whoever is getting the email. And here on email, we're going to get the recipient address from our environment file. So I can actually type it like here, but we prefer to have some privacy and just put it on the M file. So. What we're going to do is going to try to send the message, which is going to be just a draft sent. And we're going to save the return 
in a message object so that we can print here what was the message and what is the message ID. If something went wrong, we're just going to print whatever happened. But basically, as you can see, it's just a matter of specifying the subject, the body, and who's going to get the email. Send it, and that's it. Yep, and that's it. And then, of course, like all, all of the stuff that you would get in the responses on that that message variable there on line 25. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're, we're, what, whatever the result of that is, we're giving it back to you um, in that variable. Yes, exactly. Sweet. So we can actually do the other one, which is gonna be reading our mailbox. So when I press enter, we're gonna see that we received today at 11.35 with 24 seconds, uh, the email with love from Nylas. We also get a, a bunch of other emails. Um, and here you see, we can really easily read our mailbox. Yeah, that's um, right. So, uh, and I, we'll get into the details of that. But again, like since we're showing this to you in the terminal, like. Just, you know, your imagination really is the limit on what you could do with this. Uh, mm -hmm. Black has selected some specific things that he wants to show you as output in the terminal. Of course, you can imagine instead, like just as a very simple um, sort of example, if you were building like an inbox UI uh, inside of your own application, which is actually a fairly common use case, then then you can take all of that, you know, the read data that we're about to show you how to do with the Python SDK and create your own, create your own sort of inbox. So in this situation, Blag has done that, like actually in the terminal to give, like make his own sort of quote unquote inbox UI, right? So it's showing yeah, like exactly. the date that was received and the 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 subject and so on. Um, so really, the sky's the limit there. Um, and so I think we'll, we'll actually just uh, jump in now to see, you know, with a given connected account in, uh, uh, that you've connected to Nihilus, um, what can you do on, on, the, on the side of actually just reading in emails? Yes, exactly. Uh, so main configuration is going to be the same. I mean, we need to connect to the uh, API client from Nihilus. That part is the same. And here what we're going to do is we're going to get the first five emails. So here, if you can see, we have Nyla's messages, and when where are specifying a where? Because you know that all mails are gonna live in the mailbox, and then just separated by labels. So I want to read just the inbox. I don't want to read the trash or the spam folder or anything. I just clearly want to go into the inbox, and I just want to grab the first five emails. So that's why here. I can specify, I want to go to the inbox and I want to grab the first one, the first five. So here I could actually change it to a spam or trash or whatever label we have. And here on the limit, we can specify whatever we want and the limit is actually a hundred. So we can fetch like the first hundred emails. Uh, here, just to make it short, I just put in five. But once I have that, I have all the messages, I can simply loop them I can grab the date from message date. I'm going to transform it into something that is more readable. And then I'm going to print the subject. Of course, inside this message subject, there's going to be a lot of information, like the actual content uh, of the message, who's sending it, who's receiving it, all the information you can gather from an email is going to be here. But of course, I just make it simple just to do a demonstration. You see, we can get way more information, but we like to keep six simple. Yeah, so simple for a demo, but you can also imagine too, like we showed you in the send uh, version of this just a moment ago that uh, each message has a unique identifier. So you can also imagine that in the response body, you're getting back unique identifiers for each of those messages. Well, that becomes uh, interesting if you 
you know, want to enable either yourself programmatically or your users through the features that you expose using Nihilus to um, perform specific operations on individual wow. messages as well. So there's, there's a lot of power here. We're really just showing you the top level list for you to know how to kind of just start to crack into it. But under the hood, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do, um, whether it is with the full list of your inbox or um, um, zeroing down into uh, specific messages. And yeah, as you can see, I right now just simply added message.id. And when I run it, you can see that the ID has been added. So it's just uh, a matter of selecting whatever you want and just I didn't hear and it's going to be there. Yeah. yeah. From there, you can imagine like you might, I don't know, again, like if, if you're just going back to that inbox UI scenario, if, if a user clicks on that, then maybe use that ID to retrieve some, some more information. Or for example, if your user wanted to throw away one of those messages, you click on a, a trash can icon, for example, and use that ID to go in and, and remove that message from the inbox. So. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, again, the sky's the limit when it comes to like what you can imagine doing with these APIs, but they offer the flexibility. And you know, the nice thing is we focused today on you happen to be using Gmail, so we focused on um, you know, since uh, working with a connected account, uh, a Gmail mm -hmm. account that's connected to Nihilus, yeah. but you know, that same API surface would be valid for Microsoft and plenty of other providers as well. So that, mm -hmm. that's one of the nice things about it is that you know, it's uh, you don't have to worry so much about like the the underlying differences yeah, yeah exactly. it's not like you need to build a different structure for different email providers like the same it's going to work for all of them so that's a great thing that's really cool thanks thanks for walking us through that blag and that's just like a nice sort of like you know getting a toe in the water of what you can do with Nihilus. Um, yeah, exactly. And I, I think, you know, we, we've got plenty of content out there to, to help people get started in, in different languages. Um, if I remember correctly, you've actually written um, a blog post and shipped the sample repo on this topic. Uh, yes, yes, of course. I mean, first I have one uh, blog on exactly how to send emails with the Nihilus Python SDK, but also if you actually go into our GitHub, Nylas samples, uh, there I have examples, or we have examples for actually Python, Ruby, Node, Java, even Rust, PHP, uh, C Sharp. So there's a lot of information there. And I'll do the obligatory call out for Fortran as well, although I think that was yeah. mostly just a fun <laughs> example, not super useful in day to day life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, but tons of samples. We really like to focus on giving folks what they want. So, um, you know, we did a live stream recently in response to a developer request for some Java content. So if you're mm -hmm. watching this and say, hey, this Python sample is great, but I know, you know, my stack is something else or great, you know, sending and reading uh, emails is interesting, but here's some other stuff I want to do. Uh, feel free to reach out through comments on Twitter, yes. or LinkedIn or YouTube or wherever else you happen to be looking at this. And uh We'll absolutely uh, dive in and, and see what we can do for you. Yeah, totally. Let us know. We're going to do our best to try to handle everything and create a live stream, a blog post, and provide all the information you need to fulfill the requirements. OK. And uh, so I'll throw out one more link before we go. Um, and uh, that's going to be for our, our YouTube channel. Um, if you're, again, see, seeing this live stream on LinkedIn or Twitter or somewhere else, um, that those are great places. We'll always continue to share the live streams as we're doing them on those channels. But if you want to go through and browse the back catalog of our uh, coding with Nihilus videos or all the other videos that Nihilus is producing for developers and um, product managers and so on, um, you can go check check out our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash C slash Nihilus. Uh, and uh, we'll always uh, take every live stream we do and add it to our um, code with not coding with Nihilus playlist there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. And there's a lot of more live streams to come. So stay tuned and let us know what you think. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Black. Well, thanks so much for walking us through this uh, getting started demo. And uh, yeah, looking forward to chatting with you again in a couple of days. Yeah, sure. Bye, take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.